Assalamu alaikum. Uh, this presentation number 20 and the next presentation 21 would be about a group of uh, stitches that were developed to repair a lumen of a hollow viscous like the pharynx, the stomach or uh, the intestine. Surgeons had recognized early enough that uh, stitches used for lumen repair of a hollow viscous need to be inverting stitches. That's basically to prevent the pouting of the mucosal layer through the defect to the outside, uh, giving rise to a persistent leak with all the associated morbidities. Um, so the common factor with all the stitches used for repairing a lumen would be that they are inverting stitches. Now, one of the factors that would decide uh, would make you decide which stitch to use is how big is the defect. If you just have a puncture or a short segment that you need to repair, you may be using an interrupted sutures or double sutures, and the available options include modified uh, horizontal mattress of the Lampert or the Holstead. But if it's a reconstruction of the whole of the pharynx, for example, or a long segment defect, then uh, perhaps you would choose a continuous suture to save time and resources. Then your options would be a Lampert continuous, a Cushing or a Quenelle. Uh, we would go through some of these in this presentation. And the simplest form when you just have a puncture to the uh, lumen or a short segment defect, uh, you may choose to employ one of the mattresses sutures, either the horizontal mattress or the Lampert, which is basically a vertical mattress suture. Uh, both these sutures will be uh, used in the reverse format in which the strands of the suture on the surface are running perpendicular to the uh, wound edge rather than parallel to this. So in a, the smallest defect caused by a puncture, um, you would use the reversed horizontal mattress. You take a bite parallel to the wound edge, so the strand of the suture will be perpendicular uh, to the wound edge on the surface. And you go to the other side, another bite parallel to the wound edge, and then you tie uh, the knot on there and you have these uh, strands of sutures parallel to, uh, perpendicular to the wound edge that's going to cause inversion of the wound. Um, or you can employ the Lampert or the Holistead. The Lampert is basically a vertical uh, mattress suture, again in the reverse format. Uh, again, you would have a strand of the suture running perpendicular to the wound edge. You end up after having this vertical mattress inverse suture with two loops of sutures perpendicular to the wound edge. Uh, a smaller loop and a bigger loop and the bigger loop is towards the surface and this is going to cause inversion of the wound edge. Um, or you may choose to combine to uh, duplicate the uh, Lampert, uh, run another Lampert again in the same way. So you end up having the two loops of sutures uh, perpendicular to the wound edge, but combining these two Lampers is, will give you the Holstead uh, suture which is uh, again an inverting uh, stitch and once the knot is, uh, is tied you get an inversion of the wound edge. These are the simplest forms of repair for a uh, lumen. But with a bigger defect or if you are reconstructing a hole of a long segment like doing a pharyngoplasty, you would need to consider using continuous suture patterns to save time and resources. Uh, and using the continuous Lampert suture, you would need uh, only two knots, one at the very beginning and one at the very end. But it runs in the same way. 
uh, it's a reverse form of a vertical mattress suture. You would take uh, a, a bite between one and two, and then cross to the other side, a bite between three and four. Uh, so you end up with two loops, a smaller and a bigger, and the bigger loop is more superficial uh, towards the surface, and this, was going, this configuration will cause inversion of uh, uh, the wound edges and you do something similar at the end so the uh, the whole of the continuous suture would have three elements the anchoring suture at the beginning the finals uh, knot at the end and the continuous pattern in between there are two ways to do the lampet continuous suture the uh, older than the original way was the far to near near to far type of uh, a lampet continuous suture which starts in the far point from one edge near and then cross to the other side near to far so that's the far to near near to far type and you do it at the apex of the wound edge on one end and when you tie your first knot and secure it and trim the shortest of the two strands. Then you continue doing the same thing far to near and then near to far. And this will produce in every single level two loops of sutures, one between the near and the near, that's the smallest and the deeper, and one between the far and the far, which is the uh, larger and the superficial. In this version, the superficial loop would be running diagonally from one level to the other, while the smaller loop will be running horizontal between the near and the near. As you can see, we're just going through far to near and then near to far from one level to the other. And when you cross to the other level, you have the uh, a diagonal loop of the suture across the wound. And you continue until you reach the uh, end of the uh, wound on the other side. Now, once you've reached the end of the uh, uh, segment that you want to repair, um, you reverse the direction of the needle. You go from this side to the other, again, far to near and then near to far. But you keep a, a loop of the sutures to tie on. And that's the end of uh, the repair of this segment. And you can use the Aberdeen knot or you can just uh, knot between the loop and the single strand and the, uh, and the traditional way. The other way of doing the Lampert inverting stitch is to use the near, far, far, near type of uh, Lampert, uh, as a slight modification in the Lampert in which you start in the near side of the wound to the far side and then cross to the other side of the wound edge from far to far again and then far to near so you end up having the same two loops of sutures that run perpendicular to the wound edge to cause inversion one of them is a smaller loop between the near and the near, and the other is the larger loop between the far and the far. But in this type of uh, modification, the knot would be tied on the smaller 
uh, of the two loops rather than the uh, larger loop between the far and the far points. So this is how you anchor the uh, this stitch and then you go on doing the same pattern near to far on one side and then far to near on the other side and again you have these two small loops here uh, one on the uh, one between the near and the near and one between the far and the far this is how you anchor the uh, stitch and once the stitch is anchored you go on uh, continuing the pattern in the usual way uh, near to far on one side and then far to near on the other this time you will have the larger of the two loops running horizontal and the smaller of the two loops the one between the near and the near is running a little bit diagonal that's the difference between these two types of Lampert suture uh, basically they produce two uh, loops of sutures perpendicular to the wound edge uh, that is going to cause inversion of the wound they continue doing the same pattern near to far on one side and then far to near on the other side so you end up with the needle towards the near point and then you shift to the other side afterwards and once you've finished one level you move to the next level and at the end once you've uh, uh, reached the end of the segment repair you leave a loop of the suture on one side and the thread attached to the needle on the other and you can either employ the Aberdeen suture or just tie uh, the loop and the single strand in the conventional way the purse string suture is the circular variation of the Lampert uh, suture uh, same principle in that you take uh, small bites um, parallel to the edge of a circular uh, defect and if this suture is tightened and knotted this will cause inversion of the edges of the uh, circular defect it's now basically used to secure um, drains and catheters in, in situ in this presentation we cover the uh, puncture and the short segment repair and we cover the Lampert and the Halstead uh, stitches that are were originally uh, employed to close uh, lumen defects and the next presentation will go through the Cushing uh, stitch which is now more uh, widely accepted way of repairing a lumen. Salam alaikum.